So many things went wrong on this expedition. And as you know from your line of work, you can have one thing go wrong. You can have two things go wrong. You might even have three things go wrong. But then usually the game is over. We had maybe seven or eight things go wrong and we survived. We didn't let our teammates down, our friends down. And I kept telling Stephen, Stephen, you're not going to be famous unless you get down alive. <laughs> and that seemed to put a little motivation into him. But our team, to the, very, to the present day, we are still the smallest team that ever pioneered a new route, one of the major new routes up the highest mountain on Earth. No one has ever done another climb on Mount Everest like we did. Ed Webster, mountaineering and polar exploration historian. Ed Webster is also one of America's foremost mountaineering historians. He was interviewed for the 2001 BBC film Ghost of K2 for the Mountain Men series. Plus, in 2009, he authored the definitive two-part mountain profile of Mount Everest for Alpinist magazine. Ed's knowledge of mountaineering and rock climbing history is vast and much of it firsthand as he has met many and even climb with a few of the most legendary climbers of the past century including Sir Edmund Hillary, Fritz Wiesner, Tom Hornbein, Leighton Kaur, 
Reinhold Mesner, and many others. Webster's Illustrated Lectures, Everest, 1890 to 1953, New Hampshire's White Mountains to the First Ascent of K2, The Great Explorers, and The Race for the Poles reflect his widespread knowledge about not just climbing, but Arctic and Antarctic exploration. As a widely experienced climber, lecturer, and photographer, Ed also has a special interest in bringing 100-year-old archival photographs and the amazing stories these pictures captured back to life for enjoyment by modern audiences.